All right. Good morning, everybody, or in some cases, good evening. Uh, and welcome to e-conference number five. Uh, we've got a, a nice uh, 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 pack schedule this morning, uh, three presentations, and then our second uh, segment of the record shop uh, from Chicago. And so uh, before we begin today, just a quick um, review of, of kind of how we do things here in the e-conferences, if this is your first time. Um, thank you all again for coming out. Uh, when we when we uh, uh, get into questions and things of that sort, uh, you can raise your hand from the participants menu or place your question into the chat. Um, can, can no one hear me? Can you hear me? I hear Everybody. you. I hear okay. you. Okay. Great. All right. So people can hear me. Uh, so there we go. Um, <laughs> because as I said, Mike Smell's name, he actually nodded at me and then is asking me if I can, if I'm muted. Um, so the, uh, the same thing as we would be if we were at a conference, we just like to keep a little bit of, of uh, professionalism and decorum. Uh, we are uh, live streaming this, of course, to YouTube. Uh, for one of the presentations today, we will be pausing that uh, because some of the information is not yet public. So we'll, we'll have a, a little pause in there to, to ensure that uh, that doesn't go out uh, at this point. Uh, but we're, uh, you know, always happy to have this. This is kind of the, the, the lay low week. Um, it's an early 9 a.m. Eastern uh, for uh, a few more of our international presenters and audience members. Uh, next week, uh, we're going to get back to the, the uh, two presentations uh, the two presentations, one on Wednesday, one on Friday. Hospitality Suite, of course, now seems to be pretty much Thursday night. Uh, so it's super excited. And, and if you're you know, interested in that, I think Mark Webb will be here in the, uh, um, in the e conference soon enough. Uh, you could talk a little bit more to him. Uh, but kind of giving you an idea of what's coming up in the future, the week of April 20th was supposed to have been uh, the first regional conference in the US of the year. And that was going to be MAPS. Uh, and so what we're trying to do that week is put together uh, a mini maps. And so have a little bit more map centric content uh, and uh, a few other things down the, 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 the pike that we're really excited about. Um, next week, we have a few new segments that we're gonna get to, to showcase and um, probably going to have a few additional sort of what we would consider long form presentations. Um, Dan Tell from the Cal Academy of Sciences has uh, volunteered at some point in the future uh, to give sort of an introduction to open space. So if you've seen that and you've heard about it, um, Dan's one of the, the real experts here in the country, uh, really in the world when it comes to open space. And so we're going to try to get something together if you're interested in that. Uh, but we have, uh, we've got four segments today, so I don't want to spend too much time talking. Um, all of you kind of know how this, this works. Uh, we have Kumiko Usuda from the National Astronomical uh, Observatory of Japan. Uh, she'll be presenting first today. Uh, Ulieta Aguilera Rodriguez, she is going to be second today with the Lunar Caravan Project. Uh, and then we have an update on the Dragonfly mission to Titan with Mr. Ken Brandt. And then we'll end today with uh, Mike Smale uh, and a little bit of time in the record shop. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to our presenters. Uh, Kimiko, the floor is yours. Welcome to the e-conference. Hi. Oh, hi, thank you so much. Uh, hi, good, good morning everybody and good evening from Japan. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Michael, thank you so much for uh, giving me time, uh, giving me chance to present our new citizen science project. So could you, uh, can, can I share? my screen. Okay. Okay, can, uh, can, can, can you see my PowerPoint slide? Okay. Okay, thank you so much. So, uh, okay, let me start. So today I'd like to present our new citizen science project. So my name is Kumiko Sato. I am an astronomer working at the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, NAOJ, uh, since six years ago. Uh, before, until 2013, I have lived in Hawaii, on the beacon of Hawaii. 
and I did extensive outreach, outreach program and then came back to Tokyo and now I am working in Tokyo. So our observatory, NAOJ, its headquarters is located in Mitaka City, Tokyo, but NAOJ has a couple of cutting edge big telescopes outside of Japan. For example, Subaru Telescope in Hawaii and Al 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 Alma, Alma uh, radio interferometer in Chile in collaboration with North America and Europe. And this is the uh, picture of our Subaru telescope. Subaru telescope is a giant optical infrared telescope located in Hawaii at the summit of Mauna Kea, Hawaii. And the diameter of the primary mirror is 8.2 meter or 27 feet. Uh, just after I left Hawaii in 2013, Subaru telescope installed a new giant camera called Hyper Prime Cam HSC on the prime focus. You know, where is the prime focus? This one at the top of the telescope. So this is a picture of HSC mounted on the Subaru telescope. HSC is a giant digital camera with 897 million pixels as its field of view is about uh, as large as nine full moons. This is a very powerful camera and several scientists started uh, extent, extensive survey with HSC since 2014. Its name is Hyperash Prime Cam Subaru Strategic, Subaru Strategic Program, uh, Pro, Subaru Strategic Program, HSC SSP, since uh, 2014. And um, they already, uh, already made a public release twice. The first one is in 20, uh, 2017, and the second one is May 2019. And our Galaxy Cruise Citizen Science Project uses the second release of data set of HSC SSP. So this is a portion of the sky. You may you are very familiar with this map, this light ascension and declination. And blue in blue area, we have HSC data. And in green areas, we have deeper uh, data with longer exposure. So in the green areas, you can see very faint feature of galaxies or many celestial bodies. And before I present our citizen science project, I want to introduce another application called HSC map. This is a kind of Google map, space version, Subaru version. So uh, same as Google map, using HSC, HSC map, you can explore the universe captured by HSC with Subaru telescope. And uh, so this is the URL, but you don't have to type all URLs, just Google HSC, HSC map, and you can find HS, HSC map quickly. So I want to show some demonstration with HSC map, or I just copy and paste. Oh, okay, where is the, oh, excuse me. Ah, maybe later, later I, I will copy and paste the URL. So this is the initial screen of HSC map. I deleted this screen. Uh, so uh, this HSC map is available both in English and Japanese. If you access to HSC map, if you see Japanese letters, don't be panic. You can change language easily. Please click HSC map and you can change Japanese or English. So look at the screen, at the center of the screen, you see green lines. Inside of green area, HSC data is hiding. So put your cursor inside of the green area and using a touchpad or a mouse wheel, please zoom up. So for, for example, you zoom up, you see HSC data. 
you see many, many tiny, tiny dots. One single dot corresponds to one single galaxy. So smaller, fainter galaxy may be farther. So you can go into deep and deep and deep and deeper. Oh, maybe it's slow. So you can explore the HSC data freely using your laptop or desktop. And we also have some, oh, excuse me. I cannot see the menu bar. <laughs> excuse me, wait a moment. Okay. And we have some bookmark over here. And there are some recommended uh, recommendation. For example, what is this? This is the Pleiades. Do you know the Japanese name of the Pleiades? This is Subaru. So Subaru captured by the Subaru telescope. Another recommended object, for example, this one. So this is a very photogenic image captured by HSC. This is M31 Andromeda Galaxy. And you, when you put the cursor over here and you zoom in, you see many, many stars. So one single dot corresponds to one single star in the Andromeda galaxy, about 2.3 million light years away. And let's go to another galaxy. This is a tat the Tatpole galaxy. Actually, this galaxy is originally bad spiral galaxy, but uh, a long time ago, another galaxy passed by and they pulled by the, its gravity. And this galaxy was distorted and make a long tail. Maybe in future, this Tatpole galaxy turn into a frog galaxy. No, no, I'm jo just joking, joking. <laughs> but actually inside uh, in the HSC data, you see many, many this kind of interacting galaxies. Let's go back to my slide. Oh, where is my slide? Okay. So when you look at the vast universe uh, captured by HST and the Subaru telescope, you see many, many diverse galaxies. For example, number one is elliptical. Number two is spiral. Number three is also spiral, but a little bit different from number two. Number two makes a very symmetrical structure. On the other hand, number three is a little bit distorted due to galaxy interaction. And number four is a tadpole galaxy. And number five, two galaxies are interacting. And it looks like a jellyfish. So we call a jellyfish galaxy. This is not optional name, we just call jellyfish. So the big question, one of the big questions of astronomy is how did such a variety of galaxies come to be? And scientists believe galaxy interaction and galaxy merging may be the key. So to study galaxy interaction and interacting galaxy can give some clue how galaxies evolve. So my colleague, Dr. Tanaka, he is a galaxy scientist started classifying many, many galaxies, but he gave up because there are so many galaxies. It is very difficult for a couple of scientists to classify all galaxies. That's why we need your help. So uh, let me introduce our citizen science project, Galaxy Clues. As you may know, Citizen science is a scientific work by citizens, I mean general public, often in collaboration with professional scientists. So scientists provide the latest authentic astronomical data. And citizen astronomers access to this observational data with internet and contribute to a scientific work. In our Galaxy Cruise project, we use uh, citizen, uh, citizen astronomers access to the Subaru telescope's latest high quality data. High quality means the deeper data. 
So spiral telescope is a giant telescope. It has very powerful light gathering power. So uh, in the HSC data, in the spiral telescope data, we can see fainter future compared to the previous data. And when we develop the Galaxy Clues citizen science website, we try to gamify to attract more people. So when you get an account and you log in, you can check your current status. Actually, this is so our Galaxy Clues, our citizen science pro uh, project is likened to a big cruise ship uh, in which scientists and the citizen astronomers work together. So each clue starts from the cabin, cabin class, fourth cabin class. When you keep classifying, you grade up to third, second, and first. And this is a cruise map. This is totally different from Earth's map. You know, so each continent corresponds to one at uh, each observational region. So when you finish one observational region, I mean continent, you can get a mark of anchor. So I already finished four regions, so I have four anchors. And when you finish one region, you can get a passport stamp when you uh, switch to the region. And sometimes uh, each region is divided into a couple of areas. And sometimes when complete one area, a couple of areas, you can get some secret souvenirs. And when I, uh, before we finish developing this website, when I talk to some my uh, some friends of astronomy fans, and most of them say it looks very interesting, but I'm not sure I can classify correctly, or I'm uh, worried if I select a wrong answer. So that's why we set up a very thorough training menu. So before uh, each student astronomer get on board. He or she must finish three lessons. And after uh, he or she enters, uh, we have some additional practice menu if they want. Okay, so, okay, I talk too much, but uh, in the last five minutes, I want to show you the demo of our Galaxy Cruise website. Okay. So, okay, this is the, top uh, home page of Galaxy Cruise, both English and Japanese are available. And in English site, we have just launched in February 19th. And please scroll down. And we have some uh, articles. Uh, on the first day of each month, we upload a new topic. So sometimes we talk about what is still science or some tips of classifying galaxies, or uh, last month, uh, our Captain Tanaka released the very first data. Okay, and let's start training. Click training, and we have three lessons. The first lesson is very easy for you. Uh, please distinguish, uh, please uh, learn the difference between elliptical galaxy and spiral galaxy. Actually, you already know. And uh, I, we explain the space on galaxy and edge on galaxy of spiral galaxies. And each lesson have five practice questions. Okay, let's start. Look at this picture. Is this galaxy elliptical or spiral? Actually, you are very familiar with this question. This one, if you select spiral, Yes, this is correct. Captain Tanaka makes happy face, but if you select the wrong answer, look, Captain makes sad face. And if you finish all three questions, uh, all five questions, let's go to the lesson two. Lesson two, you will learn what are interacting galaxies. As I explained before, this is very symmetrical galaxy, but if the galaxy is interacting. Some, some galaxies are pulled out or distorted. 
Okay, let's start the practice question. Look at this galaxy. Is this galaxy interacting? Yes or no? Maybe you know the answer. Let's select interacting. Yes, this is correct. Actually, you see many, many tidal features. And after you finish five or five questions, let's go to the last lesson, lesson three. The goal of each student astronomer is classified mainly four features of interacting galaxies. The number one is ring, different from spiral arms. Oh, I'm sorry, spiral arms. So the rings, concentric rings. Number two, shells, like concentric shells, not rings. And number three, tidal streams, like tails. Actually, tidal stream sounds very uh, too technical, science difficult. So each feature has nickname. The ring is just ring, but the shell we call fan. And tidal stream is called tail. And the number four, distorted halo. We just call distortion. And we have five extra questions. Look at the picture. Is this galaxy interacting? If yes, what, that, what kind of feature do you see? A little different, difficult from lesson one, lesson two. Actually, this is a ring galaxy. So if you select ring, this is correct. And then you finish all questions. Please click this button and you can get a boarding pass. And then let's log in. Actually, I, I, I already log in. This is the initial screen, welcome page of the classifying page. So same as the H, HSC map, you can explore the HSC data. And if you want to start classification, please click this rudder. And one galaxy comes, comes up into the center. If you, it, it is too small, you can enlarge this image. And you have three questions, same as lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. So the first question, is this galaxy spiral or elliptical or neither? Maybe I think it's a spiral, ah, no, no, elliptical, click this one. The second question, is this galaxy, galaxy interacting or not interacting? To answer this question, if you see difficult, please click this setting icon and you can change color, this grayscale and the color, or you can change brightness. Maybe I think it is interacting. You see some distortion, maybe. So click this one and same as lesson three, you can select one or more than uh, one or two or uh, yeah, yeah, as you like. And I like to select distortion and submit. And then next galaxy comes up, you repeat. And if you are not confident, we have a practice menu. This is a real classification. Nobody knows the answer, but practice menu, you can compare your classification with captain's classification. The same question. Is this elliptical or spiral? A little bit difficult. So maybe just click this one and submit. Okay, okay. Mine and the captains are same. So you can compare your classification and the captains. And you can, you, you feel more confident to classify the galaxies. Okay, so this is our demo of a galaxy cruise. So please finish all three, all three lessons and please get on board our galaxy cruise, cruise, cruise ship.
Do you hear the music? Okay, thank you so much for listening to my presentation. As of March 15th, actually more than 3,000 members from 52 countries already signed up. So please join us. So I put the URL of Galaxy Cruise over here and HSC map to explore the HSC data. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kamiko. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Any, if we have any questions, of course, just raise hands or put them there in the in the chat. Uh, but any questions for Kamiko this morning? Ah, Noreen, go ahead. Uh, sorry, Noreen, I don't hear you. You don't hear me. Okay, wait a minute. I'm trying to. Noreen, you're all set now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so I, I wondered, is everybody um, looking at the a different galaxy and classifying it, or are people looking at the same galaxies and then an average of their um, classifications is taken for the galaxy? Okay, um, at least 50 people classify one galaxy. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, as I explained, we, we have some uh, areas, uh, regions, and uh, each region have a couple of areas. So if uh, each area, if, if uh, more than 30 galaxies are in one area, we select randomly 30 galaxies for one season astronomer. So not, uh, so, Maybe different citizen astronomers classify different galaxies, but one galaxy is classified at least five citizen astronomers. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> All right. Anyone else this morning? Great. Well, then, Kamiko, thank you so much. For, yeah. for presenting so this evening uh, mm -hmm. there in, in Japan. Uh, uh, and, and of course we have the the, the link in the uh, in the, the chat. So if you want to get involved with oh, Galaxy yeah, yeah. Cruise, uh, yes. you know, feel welcome. It looks fantastic. So let's get yeah. it. Thank you, Kamiko. Yeah, thank you so much. See you again. Thank you so much. All right, and so we'll move uh, right on time. Uh, Ulietta, uh, you've got the Lunar Caravan Project. I'll turn it over to you and you have the floor. You hear me now? Yes, awesome. Hi, thank you for having me. And um, that was such a nice presentation. Thank you so much. I, I love those so much. interacting galaxies. They're so beautiful. Um, so let's see. You see my slide, right? You see my screen? Oh. Uh, 